Hey everybody, we're back watching, I think, yeah, we're still watching PlayStation's Biggest conference at Gamescom. Over the past few years, we've come to understand that gamers really value being able to use their consoles to watch movies, use catch-up TV, and listen to music. So you just not really know. It remains a fundamental what? part of our strategy to I offer these services as a music? core component oh, of the music? PlayStation That's Network hot. service package. Oh. Available to all yeah. and not placed behind uh, the Music Unlimited game. was pretty cool though. Huh? One such service coming Especially to PS4 since PlayStation Twitch, Plus members got it for like $5 for a year. World's video platform and community for gamers. It's like RDO, Which will allow you to enjoy $5. live Rich. streaming of gameplay using the spectate feature that you saw oh, yeah. demonstrated by Shu at the start of the show. So this is a big deal. And as we're here in Europe, I wanted to take the opportunity. Um, don't you, do you remember Microsoft saying that Twitch was exclusive? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah, they did. To announce that we have over 20 <laughs> oh, video services nice and applications one. coming to PS4 in this region, and including for our German hosts, Watchever and Maxstone. Oh, oh they're in German. Look at all that shit. As we mentioned at E3, Sony's Music Unlimited service will be available on day one for PlayStation 4. I'm pleased to announce that we've enhanced Music Unlimited specifically for PS4 through a new interface that is faster, so this is simpler, neat because and better. And naming gamers to discover new artists and songs within the global catalog of 20. It's like RDO tracks. that we've been as long using. As Bruno Mars. Spotify. In addition, for we've added two new features. What? Brent, what? As long as they're all Bruno Mars. Oh. Yeah, really. Discover um, new artists. Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor <laughs> Swift. Is that on RDO? They do. That? Oh my God! Bruno Mars is all over RDO. <laughs> oh God. Um, Spotify for Americans. I think Spotify is more popular. But anyways, uh, this. Just they're going to integrate it so that in games, games will have built-in music playability. So you, mm. yeah, a lot of games actually have that on yeah, the PS3, but you have to hook in like an, a USB Another stick or something with MP3. Who's going to load up a fucking thing yeah. of MP3s? It's <laughs> yeah. 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 way too much effort. It is. It is yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Everything's too much. You know, yeah. It's not at the push of a button. It's like Pandora. Back in the day when that when that was just announced, like on PS2, like some games had that feature. That was like, holy shit, yeah, I'll put it on a stick and move it over. That's yeah. the coolest the feature ever. The now that we take that shit for granted, we're like, there was a snowboard game or a snowmobile game that you could pop open, S pull the disc out, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I played yeah. that. Yeah. Why would you mess with like Dragula on the soundtrack? Yeah. That's true. I did listen to Dragula. <laughs> <on the stock. laughs> but listen to this. Um, remember how anti-farm and rural Microsoft was? Another area that we recognize as key to getting full enjoyment from the socially connected PS4 experience is broadband. Europe's a great place to live, but as all of us know, broadband can be an issue in many parts of the continent, with average consumer broadband speed at around 5 megabits per second. In order to give games... What's that? You're acknowledging that people have different connection mm -hmm. speeds and in that different countries not everybody has a city fucking wide pipe that mm. fucking assholes in L la or wherever the fuck microsoft Kansas? is oh. mm -hmm. you don't need to <laughs> where is microsoft a submarine there? to yeah. the best online yeah. experience don't well, have if you're internet in a, if you're in a nuclear sub oh by the way i forgot to create that segment oh shit i had that plan <laughs> him uh what's his face uh fucking uh, uh, gill yeah he's fired <laughs> Really? Yeah. Yes. I did see that. Oh. Gil's fired. Yeah, he's uh, bomber jumped yeah. ship too. <laughs> Steve Bomber's stepping down. It's unrelated, but it is okay. funny to think wow. that the Xbox thing made him leave. Don Matrick, gone. Don Matrick, gone, yeah. The best thing is, he's gone to Zynga. <laughs> Zynga's a Zynga. fucking sinking ship. <laughs> he can't win. Save us! Oh. Save us! Oh, jeez, you're not going to fire me out of you guys. I did the thing <laughs> with on. the boxes. And the I was this close to a sale. He's <laughs> <laughs> entering into strategic That's partnerships with some of Europe's leading ISPs. Have you watched I'm pleased to announce Glenn tonight Ross? that the first partnerships yeah. will be with Deutsche really Telekom, sad, <laughs> Orange, Virgin Media, and Ono. Oh, no. Our plan is to offer a range of broadband packages to PS4 gamers that include reserved parts of the pipe for gaming. So they're basically, they're going to get game companies to reserve, like, coax, I guess, or like, you know, some of their, um, I forget what you call them, but anyways, they're going to have specifically dedicated bandwidth for those guys, and that's, that's crazy. Yeah. I want to know to what extent they've done that because yeah. that's the kind of stuff that Netflix wishes it could make partnerships mm. and do. Providing PlayStation gamers across PS3, PS4, and PS Vita with access to more than a dozen games a month. 
all of these games. Okay, now he's going to talk about PlayStation Plus. This is mainly, I think, and when Europeans you in the tend to get different stuff than us, but... Come with PlayStation Plus, the price of just over four euros a month clearly represents extraordinary value. PlayStation to be sure that all uh, PS4 greatly. gamers yeah, have a chance awesome. to discover yeah. PlayStation Lately. Plus, we will offer Always. a free 14-day trial so awesome. with, to, to any new PS4 Plus. owner with full access to the Instant Game Collection, Can you give me a including for day one yeah. on PS4, Drive Club PS Plus Edition, <coughs> and Resogun, one of the new PS4 games that Michael introduced earlier. Uh, one title that we're really excited to be bringing to PlayStation Plus Check it out. for PS3 owners in September getting. is from Europe's leading publisher, Ubisoft. That title is Assassin's Creed 3, <laughs> and it joins Assassin's the longest Creed 3. Of titles for free. available on PlayStation. Oh, it's a PlayStation oh, Plus. Shit. Not sure if it's come to America, Plus, but it's definitely to Euro. Quick. If nice. you're thinking of signing up ahead of PS4, That's we have a great quick. offer for European Has it been consumers. for a year? <laughs> Starting tomorrow and lasting for a month. If you sign up for a year via the oh PlayStation God. Store, PlayStation will add an additional 90 days to your membership. Nice. Wow, that's get three months yeah. plus a year. Awesome. That's like, you know, more than 25% off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the original? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my uh, god. I don't even know where the original is anymore. Uh, I don't know when it happened. Using so cute. And this PlayStation Vita. It. It's Pascal so cute. will now take over the rest of the demo. Uh-oh. Oh, um, you can play it on a Vita? This is them demoing uh, how this works. This is like their Wii functionality if you own a Vita. Oh, really? Um, so he's just, this is him playing on the PlayStation 3, or, or is he, no, he's already taken over. Yeah, so yeah. he's using the PlayStation 4 or 3, I don't, I forget which one this feature's coming to. I think they said 3 and 4. Okay, and so yeah, you can do this. Just play the I could PlayStation 4 or 3 game on the Vita. Yeah. That's and crazy. that screen on the Vita is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a good size. It's not only the size, but its resolution is yeah. way higher than the Wii's. It's beautiful. I need to pick it up and play it. I haven't, I haven't played it. Yeah, it's it. sweet that they're still using that same one for the next gen system. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And then uh, they really. Then they also showed it has this trailer. Been five long years that I've searched for a cause to fight for. I've crossed this world and still have been met with the same painful truth. There are those who take. And those who suffer. They call this this rule Eve's I Razor. Now that freedom from such tyranny can only that be any given trailer, if a trailer, be. if you're wondering what a trailer is, is it is cause. most likely Assassin's Creed. Oh, this is why I must keep fighting. It's Eve's Razor. <laughs> Actually, no, I just call it <laughs> Gilmo's Razor. It sounds better. Yeah. Gilmo's Razor. The most likely trailer is Assassin's Creed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on the stage to talk about his games and about the launch of the PS4. And co-founder and CEO of Ubisoft, Yves Gimo. Speaking of the devil. Oh, here he is. Yeah. And they don't really talk about anything, but it's fun to watch. Hi. Hi, Jim. Yves, lots of people here tonight. Gamescom's come a long way since the old days at Leipzig. Yeah, actually, when, when we see we will oh, see God. this show this year. It's amazing compared with what you we, better step off we the had a few that's years ago. Out. Well, and he's in, so he's in his home country at this point, so he's extra, extra like confident in Germany. Sitting and Eve, you've been uh, you've been bugging me for about three years now about next gen. Uh, and when I look at Black Flag, I can see why. You still excited? I'm extremely excited because uh, Assassin's Creed this year <laughs> will probably be the best and biggest uh, we have ever done. So I think it would show what the PS4 can do. Now you guys at Ubisoft have a terrific track so record proud. of bringing He's new French. IP at the time of platform. Oh! oh. Isn't be I don't have people watching the show! And the Watch Dogs game is going to be... He's clearly a Nazi, I think the, the best game of the show, probably. So I think <laughs> if uh, my plans you will go see something perfectly. Like <laughs> that will tell you more about what it is, and it's really next-gen. And you have some more news to share with us if about Project what Project Liquify, yes, the competition goes through smoothly. Uh, <laughs> Just In fact, we are partner <laughs> partnering with Sony to create a blockbuster movie on Watch Dogs. Really? So I think this will be very important for the industry as those two companies that we are have been doing games. So 
the next movies will probably be different. And in 20 years, when we meet, we will speak again about, about that again to see what those two games and movies did what? to change the world. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> really, they're making a watchdog <laughs> movie. <laughs> I don't, did he say that? I think he I did. Think so. <laughs> I don't even say or, or an Assassin's Creed movie. Or Whoa, a Watch so? Dog meets okay. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed <laughs> is C2S in is development. Um, there's a bunch of stuff Ubisoft has in development. Ubisoft started its own company to make video game movies that are mm. coming. That's fantastic. Mm. Uh, I had been wanting to find a good way to talk about it on the show, but there's just never been any media release like you know that I could talk about it with. I want to someday start making this show into sort of a. I don't need. I need people to delegate to to make me graphics and stuff to like mm -hmm. do a segment where I talk about game news. But you need visuals, and mm. it's just so. Yeah. Anyways. We're promoting efficiency. Here's an exclusive awesome. level but coming to the PlayStation for Watch Dogs. <laughs> draw something. This happy little character. Citizens of Chicago, we are dead set. Oh, fuck. You have heard enough lies. It is time to hear the truth. Someone is inside the network. Oh, is we it a have Gibson? Seen him. You wanted the system hacks? You got me in. He is not Any hacker Gibson. girl is always punk. Yes. yes. Well, that's not true. Kinsey's not really punk. Suspected vigilante Aiden Pierce. But very often, they're punk. You think Daddy's little princess is gonna touch your unit? Is true. Ooh. <laughs> now, the C T S network is flawed. That is true, it's always Unix. Unix is the, always gets hacked because so easy to hack. I have no idea how to use Unix. <laughs> I'm just trolling. One man has done exactly what we have warned you about. Mm. Are you in trouble? Skywalker, probably. <laughs> one man, one fighter, the thing they didn't prepare no for. What? That's the Keanu Reeves. Star Wars, you wouldn't get it. Is still doing that's that's the way that you're referencing. Yeah. Said Star Trek. Star Trek. Now <laughs> is the time to wake up. Oops, I bought. Throwing up references. Fuck, this game looks ridiculous. Yeah, it. So they're getting that. That's exclusive or some yeah. shit. I don't know. Skins! <laughs> oh, I almost don't want it to blow my mind because I Not can't comprehend how the hell they difference. make it. <laughs> You know, I just realized his, fun, his, his like reaction uh, yeah. might actually not be in the original spot anymore. Uh, oh, what? This looks awkward. That's Sony? Minecraft. Is Minecraft is coming Crazy. to PlayStation, which was probably the biggest holy fuck holy shit, announcement. <laughs> I don't even know. It might have been there. <sighs> it might have been. So this is no background. Oh, uh, yeah, it wasn't because the background was different. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling that I cut it from <laughs> the actual the actual end <laughs> part and pasted, so it's possible that where it was originally is gone. Uh, <laughs> Xbox also said it would be exclusive. Yes, they did, and he, they actually. Oh I'm pretty sure they have. Uh, everybody knows that them and um, I'll get it off that for his sake. Um, <laughs> that uh, uh, Notch Logan. and Microsoft have. But heads mm -hmm. a lot. Notch has publicly defamed them many times, and uh, I think that micro he got pissed when Microsoft kept saying that it was exclusive. They had no exclusivity. Microsoft just decides that when they oh, haven't heard seriously? about another company they having a deal, they will call it exclusive. Even they did, though they didn't pay yeah. for an exclusive. For an exclusive? It's That's like awesome. it's like um, going to a store. Ordering a suit and saying, yeah, this suit, exclusive to me. He only made it for me. <laughs> At least I heard. I didn't hear about anybody else. You didn't else tell me one, specifically so. that anyone else has y it. Yeah, you didn't say specifically he's <laughs> ever made one like this for anybody else. So I have it exclusively. Like, you can't wow. do that. So this is a hugely exciting time for everyone in our industry. And Can a you great play it on the Vita? For me to hand over to my boss. What? Oh, probably. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you can't, like, log into our server. You have to play on, like, a, it's like a local Xbox world. Xbox server? It's, it's different. Yeah. What? Yes. Oh, yeah, this guy. Thank you, Jim. 
Uh, it's a real oh, yeah. pleasure to be back at Gamescom. Uh, yeah. And amidst lots of oh, God, you guys are mean. PlayStation. Small hands! Tiny yeah, yeah. hands! I thought I recognized those hands. My little hands. Just we'll just put your hands on top of my hands. <laughs> Look at how big that watch looks. You skill mole has really small hands too. Yeah, and they both wear, wear massive okay, watches. Okay, I um, <laughs> his probably a regular sized watch. Was that there's a price drop for the PlayStation uh, and I, I, PlayStation 3? PS3. I got it for that two years ago. I forget. Yeah, you did. I'm skipping all this. Yeah. Shoppers. In here somewhere is also a little nugget about the Vita price drop. Can you guys tell me what that was? It was a pretty big price drop. And I think we're getting it too. Whoa, what did they cheer about there? Great game worlds will be more ubiquitous, powerful, and accessible than ever before. And while others... Yeah, you ah, Listen to this. Listen to this little quip. Great game worlds will be more ubiquitous, powerful, and accessible than ever before. And while others have shifted their message <laughs> and changed their story... Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's cheeky. We were consistent. Blogs are saying, mm, Sony, bad form. Oh, you, fuck like off. They're kicking them when, when they're down now. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck yeah. off! <laughs> yeah. This is Isn't exactly it? what business should do. Yeah. Come on. They're like, exactly. so, I saw a fucking article on Kotaku like, or something like that saying, Sony explains why they keep jabbing Microsoft. I don't know, because they can yeah. and they it's should. Competition. They deserve yeah. it. It's competition. <laughs> it's called capitalism, you fucking commie <laughs> bastards. In maintaining <laughs> policies and a model Comies. that is fair and in tune with consumer desires. Oh, fuck. You just like. You just. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna think uh, that through again? We strove <laughs> to deliver a platform that offers the consumer Sorry. both yeah, innovation well, and great value. <laughs> <laughs> and it's with the gamer in mind that when PS4 launches in Europe and the US, it will launch with a price of 399 euros, That's 399 crazy. dollars, and 349 pounds. So wouldn't European people want to buy an the American one? Because that's ridiculously. Uh, the by the time the bank takes its cut on the exchange, they're not going to save it. Of incredible, you've made it clear. That you're excited about because this. three, uh, uh, three hundred fifty versus three hundred pound. I mean, uh, euros are almost the same as American dollars no. now. They're close. They're like you're thinking euros. Yeah. I mean, you're thinking pounds. Pounds no, no, no. are better. Euros are still like quite a bit more, aren't they? How much, guys? It's like it's become. Get? It's much closer than it used really? to be. It's and like. And aren't they region locked? Well, no, no, not PlayStation. Platform. Xbox shipping is costs. Well, if you're on a trip, million, shipping the shipping costs and then worldwide. sixty-six cents for the dollar. What? Hey, what did he just announce? Talked about this platform with more than one million pre-orders already worldwide. Whoa! Wow! Wow, million. Well, we have like four of those, so. Yeah. <laughs> And before I leave, so yeah, I have one numbers, last idiot. announcement to make. <laughs> I'm delighted to say that PlayStation 4 will be launching in 32 countries in total during this holiday season Jeez. and will become available in North America on the 15th of November Whoop. and in Europe on the, the 29th of it's November. A, it's your birthday almost. Yeah, pretty your much. Your birthday weekend, just yeah. like last year. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Too, I'll, I'll hand it to you guys. I, I thought the euro had come way closer. It's so you could get if you're in Europe, you could get a three hundred dollar PlayStation if you bought American. Thank you all. But again, very much on a trip. for your Once time. Once the bank takes evening. its cut, Please that's going to be more like a savings of, of eighty call. instead of hundred. And, and then once you add shipping, you're saving like what bank? Dude, banks take a huge portion of the exchange rate. They fuck you. Not if you get from an exchange center. What exchange center? They Airport. fuck you, man. They <laughs> take it. Bang! Bang! Bang. 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 The, taxes. <laughs> the finger thing with the taxes. Oh, taxes. It's not much. I thought it would be a lot more of a savings, but. Uh, so. That was it, huh? That's that. Um, yeah, yeah. You're allowed, like, $400. I don't know why people are saying when you have to claim them. You'd be allowed. You don't have to bring claim that. that. Oh, you would have to claim it, but you don't have to pay. Dudes, when I went it. to Amsterdam, it was the honor system if you wanted to claim. 
That was amazing. <laughs> you walk through one door if you don't want to declare, one door if you do. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Except there's a guy that randomly clotheslines people there at the door that you don't. That's your only, that's your that's the only downfall. Yeah. You, just, you just get a clothesline. He doesn't check You still get stuff. to keep your shit. Yeah, he just <laughs> clotheslines you. It's All random. Right, I'm going to get this one. <laughs> Uh, you going down, little girl. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back.